Current team, welcome to DayZ, welcome to Sakal, welcome to the White Cloud, and welcome to the Vipika Military Base South, or Vipika Military Base Sud, as I'm going to call it. Um, and, uh, and this is my trusty car, because we'll be touring this base predominantly by car for a couple of reasons. Um, so let's um, let's have a look at this military base. This is the military base here, and it is it is covers quite a large distance, um, which is which is why I'll be using my car um, because there's lots and lots of things to see. So if you have a look at the map here, just after this sort of cinched in uh, waste bit here, um, you'll see there's a line that comes off towards the base. That's where we are. That's these lines, these power lines. So this is the north entrance. You can carry on and you go right round, and this will take you all the way round the base and um, and down to the south, and um, and bring you into the port, which would be the south entrance. Um, I think there might even be a couple of ways in uh, down the road, but um, we're going to come in through the north entrance, um, which we're going to go and have a look at. Now, while we're doing our little tour. Um, there's possibly a couple of things that I think you should you should really be aware of um, when you're down here. Um, the first is obviously the size is important, um, but also the fact that it's it's it is very open um, once you get in here. So um, there's a military barracks here, like this kind of like um, dorm dorm building, a couple of engineering sheds, uh, etc. But probably not. A not a whole heck of a lot else. Um, so, so it's very open once you get down in here. <clears throat> and the next thing is that there really is not very many places to light a fire indoors. A little, little container and in there, really. Um, so, if you're outside and it's stormy, you're gonna you're gonna be in trouble, right? Um, you are gonna be in trouble. And there's a number of features all over the place, um, which you're going to get used to seeing around. Obviously, there's these roads. These roads do not appear on the map. Um, so it's up to you to learn to navigate them. Sorry about the stutter. We have these um, engineering garages here. I've not found any loot in these yet. Um, the road loops around here, takes us around to some other uh, engineering stuff. Here's a little. Um, here's one of these little uh, Nissan hut, Nissan hut um, style uh, bases. Um, there's not a lot in that one. Another, another garage, a couple of uh, bunker things going on. <coughs> there are wolves in here. Wolf spawns in here. I, I've run into wolves before. Um, and then probably uh, th these things. I'll show you these things because you are going to run across these. Um, while you're moving around, and there are a bunch of them, um, these little, you know, underground, bunkery type things. I haven't found anything in any of them, to be fair. They got these uh, offshoot doors. I don't know why, in particular, this room is the room with the um, sharpening stones in it for sharpening your knives next to this thing. I don't I don't understand what that is about, um, to be fair. Uh, sorry, that's where we came in. Another little building. Uh, it's a little room. Another little storeroom. I've got a mag. A pair of pants. Another mag. Um... Yeah, the other thing that I would say is the other door. The other thing that I would say about this base is, and, and I I was led to believe, I am led to believe, that this is supposed to be where the highest tier loot is. Um, but what I can say is I haven't found anything, really. I found a bag, some boots. <laughs> There's quite a lot of things like mags. Um, there seems to be quite a few Vakirs around here, so if Vakirs are your thing, um, then then that's all good. 
but not a whole heck of a lot of everything else. So you see what I mean about saying it's quite, it's quite spread out, right? Quite spread out. So we're coming over to the um, to the east side of the base now. Um, so we're heading over towards the east and uh, south side of the base. More of these engineering buildings, bunkers, etc. We kind of looped back around to where we were. Um, so this is just a loop. We'll head on up to the um, radar tracking stations and um, we'll get a good lie of the land from up on the radar tracking stations. They're up there on top of the hill over there. Um, I'm sure you can see them there. Uh, similar to the uh, three radar tracking stations that you will find if you go to um, Tizzy in Cherno. Some, uh, some open warehouse buildings, another Nissan hut. Uh, there is a, there is a um, petrol station uh, on here. You can actually get petrol for your vehicles if you bring your vehicles out here. And when we get up to radar, we'll have a look at the map again so you can get an idea of where we've been. Um, but there's not a lot here. It's really very, very vacant. Very, very empty. Just two radar tracking stations here and a little um, a little bunker thing. Right, and there's um there's the coast. There's the coast. Lots of ice and lots of coast and lots and lots of stuff and thing. So over there is uh, is north. We're down here now. So over over here is north where we came in and we took a little tour of this um, this area over here and uh, the outbuildings and the roads and the various bits and pieces. And we headed over here and took a little tour of the various bits and pieces and things that are over there. And, um, and then we've headed out this way. Um, so this is where we're, we're currently setting up here and we have a look down. This is heading off towards the south side of um, military Base Sud, um, down to where there's a, there's a cluster of stuff and uh, various bits and pieces. Don't get too excited about the zigzag th feature. I thought it was going to be lots of barracks. It doesn't. It turns out it's just lots of canopies um, for trucks, truck parking, various other bits and pieces and, um, and various stuff and thing down there which is which is all good so we're going to head off down there there is uh in the distance you can see there is a radar dome there's a couple more bunkers on the hill there's not really a lot of in there <clears throat> and um and that off in the distance is where all those other uh bits and pieces that we've just largely seen and come from is located so what we're going to do is we're going to head on down towards the um towards the radar area and, um, and that will give us a good overview of the actual uh, port part of the base itself. And it's, like I said, it's a bit of a journey, but um, we'll get there. So, yeah, I'm quite surprised at the lack of loot here. Um, that's... I, I, I had expected a lot more. <laughs> um, I've, I've been around quite a bit and I've looked in quite a few places. And, like I said, I haven't even found a belt. I'm, I'm like, holding out for a decent belt. But I just I just haven't found one. Um, so, that is truly a bit of a nuisance. Find the tree. That uh, takes us up to those two bunkers on the hill. Not a lot there. Um, some more, you know, engineering buildings, um, tech-type buildings, 
Uh, large warehouse type buildings over there. Some more of these uh, bunker type buildings, containers, shipping containers. Uh, they're like, um, oh, we've come into the port. They're like, uh, what would I call those? They're like uh, truck truck engineering workshops, is what I would call them. Uh, so we want to actually go this way. Can cut cross country. Just watch out for rocks uh, and lag. Here we go. Here's the route I wanted. And there's a helicopter up here, and there's the um, the radar tower itself. Radar tower. There's nothing up there, which is a bit disappointing. There's um, there's one little out, out garage, you know, and a you know a jacket in it or something. Um, not, nothing fascinating. Nothing fascinating at all. And there's this uh, trashed helicopter here, which um, I haven't found any loot next to. I don't know if loot does spawn here. It just hasn't spawned here today. Um, you know, that's um, that's something I can't tell you about. Right, here you go. So this is the uh, port part of the base. This is the, the densest bit um, with the most amount of buildings in it. So as you can see down here, um, you know, you've got a, 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 an array of buildings. Like I said, you've got these engineering buildings on the outlying edge and these uh, canopy buildings that are um, you know in zigzag they're all they're all over there behind behind this um, you have a uh, camo building uh, there in just uh, in the background you have uh, this kind of uh, engineering barracks building um, a fire fire uh, station I guess um, you have um, the uh, engineering uh, garage is associated with that. You have some containers. Uh, you have uh, the the dorm barracks buildings. You have a couple of uh, warehouses down at the waterfront. You have uh, another couple of engineering buildings, and you have a Nissan hut and a couple of barracks over there as well. Um, but that's that's largely it, and. Um, it's not exactly crawling with loot, to be fair. But we'll go down and have a look, and um, and we'll maybe uh, we'll maybe drop in uh, to a couple of the barrack-style buildings and um, and show you what that looks like in terms of how much loot there is, where you would like likely find it, and those those uh, dorm buildings. They don't have fires in them. I don't know how anyone stays alive here during winter because no, nowhere has fires. None of the buildings have fires. There's only there's only one building I've found that has fireplaces in it, and it's the double door um, dorm buildings, uh, which you um, which you go in and. Um, if if I see one, I'll I'll point it out to you exactly. And say this is this is definitely the one you um, you want to get into to light a fire. So here we are. Here's uh you know uh some more of these big industrial uh, buildings. I think it's the the side uh, that we uh, the, the opposite side that we had to look at. We've got this uh, tech building over here. This thing that you've seen before a bunch of times, you know what they look like. We'll head inside towards the base itself, south base. Some more technical engineering buildings, again, you've seen them before. Heading on down round the back, there's the dorm buildings you can see over in that direction. This is the collection of uh, zigzag features that you'll see on the map. It's uh, it's just truck parking. Lots of trash trucks. I guess maybe for, for truck parts, it's a place to be. There's a jacket in there, I think. 
some more engineering buildings. And then this is sort of, this is the southern gate. Which brings you into the port, so the road brings you all the way around. And, you know, like I said, lots of sheds, lots of engineering things. The shipping container or two, the odd set or two. I mean, I guess from from a reasonable perspective, there's not actually that many Zeds down here. Um, I would have thought possibly there could be more. Um, but there isn't, which I guess is kind of good. We'll head over and we'll have a look in these two, um, these two dorm buildings. This is just a regular old civvy engineering, I guess. I'll let them play with my car. Sure, is the door shut? Better go shut the door. Right, let's have a look, see if, if we can find anything. Engineering and fire. There. Like absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I haven't I haven't like been through this building before. And um, yeah, this is this is what I'm finding um, coming down here, um, and in almost every place I've been, there's no loot to be found. Can't find any. Um, th there may be some somewhere. Oh, you occasionally run across this damaged KA74, maybe. Um, but that's it, really. Um, same with camo, like there's not a lot in camo. Um, fire, I'm trying to see if there's um, there's one of those little fire stoves in there, but I don't think there is. A whole load of these engineering buildings and various bits and pieces. Um, and like I said for the submarine base, when you uh, come down to this place, um, you will probably have to think very differently about um, how you are going to heat yourself. Um, because um, there's just there is just no fires. There is nowhere to make fires um, other than outdoors and uh, one other building type. Um, may not be able to get through here. We can cut through here. Um, these engineering buildings, or at least I thought we could cut through here. It looks like we can not. Right, and this is port side, uh, the port side itself. So, containers, shipping containers, shipping containers, oil drum, shipping containers, this uh, kind of tech building kind of thing that I call it, some boots, uh, these two great big warehouses, uh, which are empty, 
shipping container and um, and another warehouse and uh, there's some stuff lying on the ground in there and honestly uh, that is it like I said there's a Nissan hut back there but but nothing really else so this is the military base at the south tip of Vipica um, and this is pretty much what there is to it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find you that building that I told you about which is the only building down here that I have found that actually has an inbuilt fireplace because you will want to know what that building is um, for I suppose two reasons one is when you see it you'll be like oh I can make a fire in there and the other thing is you will know that if our uh, if there are other people and they are feeling cold um, they will probably have gone into one of those buildings to make a fire let's go and find one shall we maybe you already know the, sh the one I'm talking about There's um, one in Vibor military base that I know of for a fact. There is. I don't think there's one in t t Tizzy off the top of my head. It's this one over here. This, this is the only building that I have found down here that has a fire in it. You can actually see the little, the little stove in there. And in fact, this is where I warmed up um, before doing this, uh, before doing this video. So those Z are going to muck around and do whatever they're going to do. But this is, this is one of these buildings. I don't know what you would call it. Um, like a blackboard or a notice board or something um and this is it this is the fire this is all you get so yeah there you go if you're planning on expending all of your time and effort coming down here and getting to this base this is what you can expect when you get here so i i, I didn't know what to expect when i got here and now i know what's here um I'm not super thrilled about it. Um, so there you go. This is the military base at uh, the south tip of Vipica. Uh, military base Sud, I guess. And um, yeah, there you go. Take it under advisement. I hope you find this video useful. If you have, do click the like button. Please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so you know when the next one of these is coming out. And if you feel like applying to join the White Cloud server, um, please follow the instructions below this video. And I will see you all again real, real soon. Ta-ta for now.